Oh, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is the one Yan, and uh, today we're I'm bringing you the 24th episode of Euro Truck Simulator 2. Now, last episode we went from uh, Linz to Innsbruck, so right now we should be in Innsbruck. And look at our money. We have we have quite a bit of money, and uh, we could possibly actually buy a new truck now. Um, I'm not too sure if there's any good uh, truck companies over here in Innsbruck, so I, yeah, it's probably like, most likely not gonna have any good ones. So what we're gonna try and do is go to a bigger city, such as uh, here's München, so that would be a good option, or maybe Zurich. Uh, we'll see how we go. Uh, let's just have a look on our stuff that we can take. Uh, what place is this? Bern. Stuttgart. Places like these. Yep. Alright, well. You know what? This one looks really tempting to take. Um, yeah, let's go for it. There's only 18 minutes left. Let's see. Oh boy, that is a bit far away. Let's see if we can make it to our loading zone before time runs out. This is gonna be oh boy. It's gonna be a quick Oh god damn it! Are you fucking kidding? Really? You are son of a bitch. You really have to block me up. Oh, I don't give a shit. This is America! <laughs> Here we go. There's no way I'm losing that that thing. I, I need a Gilda. Stuttgart and I'm picking that load so we have to sort of hurry you know this is a uh, let's let's just call it Russian style Russian you know what I'm saying my friend this is a Russian style driving in Soviet Russia drug drives you <laughs> come on we're gonna make it oh yes we are if you don't we're just gonna pull out an axe from our trunk and uh, Kill a couple of people in the game, so I think they're ha they're gonna have to give it to us just just so they don't feel too bad about themselves being killed. All right, well let's pick it up and off we go to Stuttgart. Stuttgart. Here we go, my friends. This is a Russian driver speaking. We will have mild turbulence along our way. On our trip to Stuttgart. Please fasten your seat belts. Weather conditions not very good. <laughs> oh boy, look at our flashing lights. Oh look at this. Oh, oh, oh yeah. That's what I like. <laughs> Alright, so uh it says about five and a half hours to go, so fair distance, 340Ks, should do it in about uh, half an hour, let's take a guess, you know we're gonna do it Russian style, you know what I'm saying, yeah, okay, to today ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be driving in Russian style, yeah, here we go, power, forward, let's go, come on my Truck, Renault, speed up or I will shoot you. <laughs> okay, there is no cars around. We can go very fast. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh, vodka is not good for you. Then you will drive like me. I am crazy. I'm a professional driver. Do not try this at home. <laughs> Let's put on these big lights, which will blind our drivers in front of us, which will make them die, which is very good. We are making progress. Yeah. <laughs> Holy fuck, it is very dark without the big lights. We need to flash these bitches. Yeah, it's good. You like this? Aha. 
Oh, I don't like driving in the dark. It makes me scared. If you know what I'm saying, huh? <laughs> Bumpy road. Here we go. Renault, speed up, or I will shoot you. You know it is a uh, very problematic going up a hill with a big truck because you do not have enough power, and when you try to go up, uh, your truck stops. And then you have to push it with your friends, or you get the car to pull it for you. It is a very complicated process, so uh, instead Russians do it the other way. It is called the Russian way. What you do is uh, you pull the handbrake, you get out of the truck, then you release the handbrake, and you make sure the, tra the truck goes down the hill and blows up. Then you steal a truck that is up on the hill and you drive to your destination safely what you get profit yeah <laughs> oh 70 kilometers an hour my lada could go faster than this you know what i hide under my bed russians <laughs> here we go overtaking oh russian style we don't use blinkers Now, okay, so I figured out I have to talk about something, so what I have in plan is to talk about the um, new Xbox, the next gen Xbox, it is called the Xbox One, and the PlayStation 4. Now, both of these consoles look very good, except we haven't really seen the PlayStation 4, so we don't know what it looks like, but uh, it is a PlayStation 4, so it will be good, you know? Now, uh, the Xbox One, it is uh, very big, uh, it is very fat, you don't like fat things, no, 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 that is not good. Now, the the Xbox One, uh, it will be fast, but uh, it will be slower compared to the PlayStation 4, you know what I'm saying? The PlayStation 4 will be running on uh, 1.8 uh, teraflops and the Xbox One will be running on 1.2 teraflops which makes the PlayStation 4 much faster. Speed is power. Power is progress. Progress is good games. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So therefore, in my opinion, the PlayStation 4 will be much better than the Xbox One. If you have, if if you have watched my videos on the Xbox One, you look at. Okay, you go now. You go now. You go look at my channel. You see Xbox One videos. You look at that shit. You realize Xbox One is very bad. It is a home entertainment system, not a gaming console. While the PlayStation 4 is a gaming console, yeah. So, for a true gamer, you will get the PlayStation 4. Now, if if you are a pussy, you suck dicks, and you are gay, you will take the Xbox One. That is for the idiots who do not like real games, you know?
and uh, the only difference that really uh, makes the PlayStation 4 faster is uh, the graphics card you know it is a uh, big and powerful compared to a small graphics card in the Xbox one you know it it is like a GTX 660 compared to a GTX 550 yeah it is a big difference and that is what makes the PlayStation 4 much faster therefore you need to buy the PlayStation 4 here we go we're going on the freeway there we go uh, Stuttgart oh yeah we like to go there uh -huh. that's what we are carrying you know we are try we are going to Stuttgart to take our big trailer as you can see this big thing this big boy this bad boy yeah oh you see this big thing oh, yeah. okay here we go oh yeah very big boy no he lifts <laughs> Do you even lift? Okay, well, uh, my friends, hope, hopefully you are enjoying this uh, episode. Now, if you are, make sure to hit the uh, like button and subscribe if you haven't yet. Now, if you do like my Russian accent, I can talk in Russian even more when you ask me to. So, uh, leave a comment if you uh, enjoyed this or I should speak normally if you know what I mean. Like right now, I'm speaking pretty, well, kind of the way I usually do, but, oh, I can speak Russian if you want me to. Dobry podjuski, Yadi. Kabareish. Rozpram paruski. You know what I'm saying. So, I will turn on the radio now, and, uh, yes, I will go to my destination. We're, we're, we're almost there, so, uh, peace out, guys. This is the one John.